Good day, flight and space friends. I'm here today and we're going to build a super cool glider that gets you gliding past one second. So then you can try and set those maximum records. So let's get cracking. So the first step is to go to whiteboxlearning.com and then click on the gliders and enter your student ID and group ID. Once you've got those numbers entered, simply click the login button and you're good to go. To be really successful, you need to have mastered this research tab, but right now we're going to move right to engineering. Remember, it does take a little while to load, and I'm going to walk you through this as fast as I can. First, if we hit design model, this is the design that comes with it. Uh, it is not going to work. If you hit outputs, it is breaking several rules. Uh, the length of the plane, the true length when it's flattened, and the span are all bad. Now these can change. Your teacher can make different rules, but you always need to know the outputs and the specs as you're building. So with the design that I'm having you build, let's start with the fuselage, and we're going to use 280. You need to make sure it's something smaller than what they had, and then I'm also going to change this to 10, and I'm going to hit apply. So that makes it a little thinner and lighter. I'm going to really quickly hit the optimization tab so we can see things change. So right now, if you look at our plane, it's got some unstable characteristics. Now that we've made quick adjustments to the fuselage, we will start making adjustments to the wing. When you look at your wing right now, it goes all the way out to 151, which breaks that rule. I'm going to tell you to go down into the 130s. I'm going to tell you to make it a little bit swept, so it's got a design like that. I'm not giving you exact answers, but you can see if you can wait, these do change and become usable. I'm going to return to the fuselage quick, and I want to taper the nose. Watch how that slopes it. You can pick how much. I'm going to choose 7, just so you can see all the adjustments. You can also taper the body. And then I'm going to make sure I hit Apply, and then I'm going to change this to 1.9. The maximum ballast we can have is 2, so just keep an eye on that as you're building. I'm going to hide this real quick by hitting Done. You can bring it back by hitting the wrench later. I'm going to take my X offset. That's how far the wing goes back. I'm going to make that 70 and hit apply. Notice that affects the pitch. Let's real quickly change our sanding to medium. Now, I'm not giving you the perfect answers. I'm just giving you ones that should work for our first flight. Let's set this to 15.2 and hit apply. And then also, because it is super fun, let's pick a color. I'm going to make my Detroit Lions color, so I'm going to get some royal blue on the wings and hit apply. I'm going to hit done and I'll put my wings away for a minute. Let's move to the horizontal stabilizer. Now remember there were percentages we were supposed to learn when we did the reading. Uh, if you did not learn those perfect, well, <laughs> you should have. Um, we are just going to play though and we're going to learn by adjusting. See my yaw coming into play good. I'm going to do the sanding level medium. I want that to be blue as well. It does not matter, it's just kind of fun. Make sure you hit apply and you'll see your color show up. And I'm going to hit done. Let's move to the vertical stabilizer. And real quickly, I'm going to make him a little taller. If you go to 51, it doesn't work. So we're going to go 39 and I'm going to bring it back. I'm watching my yaw get adjusted. I've got a little bit of an issue with drag, but I'm going to pick a color for that. I'm going to pick gray or silver. Apply once again with my lion's colors. Let's go back to the fuselage really quick. I want it to be silver as well. And apply. And hit apply. And there we can see that. And friends, this is a plane that should fly for at least one second. Real quickly, let's check our center of gravity by hitting the weight. You can see that shows us where the center of gravity is on the glider. And let's also check our lift. You can see the lift is pretty much in the center or the neutral point of the wing. Those are measurements that help us. You can check the details of all these numbers. This is what you were supposed to learn under the research was how to adjust these numbers and get a perfect flight. But right now, let's see if we can get a successful flight so that you can start building. So we are going to click on the word file and we're going to hit save. We need to give it a name. I'm going to call it glider one mdh 
And I've probably made one like that. So I'm going to put and I'm going to hit save and enter competition. Later, you can save versions of your plane by just doing a working copy. And then we need to go to the competition page. Friends, when you do this, you just staged your plane. So if you click on it, you can make it contender one. If you want to battle your own plane, you can keep that as you can keep that also as contender two. I am going to hit qualifiers and I'm going to pick Austin's plane as contender two. Then we simply hit start. I'm going to make it quiet by muting that tab because you do get tired of that cheer. But this is what it looks like when your glider gets tested. Super easy to spot. Mine is the one on the left. Austin's is the one on the right. You can see our glider went up. His is flying a long ways. As promised, mine is flying at least one second. There you have it, friends. We are in spec, so the plane is legal. Austin kicked my butt, and that's where I want you to get is to the six second range. That crazy little plane we built hit three seconds. I was hoping for one, but I was accidentally way too talented. I want you to get to this talent, my friends. Alrighty, friends, so there is a ton for you to learn in here. You can see I just clicked the rotate tab, so I'm able to look at it from every side. All these cool things that you can learn as you build this, you can make the coolest gliders ever. You just got to invest some time, effort, and learn the cool things that make a glider five. Friends, once you've got one plane that's good, it is not a bad idea to do file new and start new from a existing concept. So then you can click on your original glider that you made, give it a new name like glider three so you can keep track of them and hit start new concept and that way you never lose the one that you had your previous record with just makes it a lot smarter and a lot more fun and then of course if you need to get back to your other one you just do file open and grab your old glider and that gives you tons of room to explore but never lose your original designs friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you've got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day